we're back. That was a little Hello. tease of the rude ones. We got lots of little footage of us and our cool band that we have. I was so hot then. <laughs> you were so hot. And I was so I'll tell hot. you, Sarah, I have footage from prior to. I know. I, 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 it's shocking. It you went through a transformation. In, I'm in still going through it, but yeah. You really, you just morph all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Is it from the porn? Yeah, porn helps. It does? No. Uh, <laughs> because what, what were you telling me about porn? Um, we were talking about how Rick, San, Rick Santorum wants to ban porn completely, and as well as um, gay sodomy marriage. and gay marriage. Gay marriage. Gay marriage. Oh, there you know, was all someone kinds who of wonderful things that we marriage. have in our lives. The person in a gay marriage who I met in London who just got married is the one that told me he knows Rick Santorum. And, Which is um, interesting. I wonder how he That's really knows interesting. Him. He's terrifying. That's so weird. It's he terrifying knows, to me that he's a country with that many people who support him. I know. I just, it makes me feel like it's mind boggling. So, what do you think about these Republicans? Who do you think is going to get the ticket? Oh. Newt, I, I think they're going to begrudgingly give it to Mitt, Romney. Mitt. Yeah. Only because he looks like a Barbie. Because doll. he's the only one that they can even have a chance with at this point. Do you I think, think he looks like a younger Bush. Oh, is that it? I think he looks. I think when you see like um, he caric looks, caricatures of him, the art, you know, like in the New Yorker or whoever does caricatures of Paul Simon, it looks just like Bush. Like yeah. I often think, oh no, Bush is back. Well, anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Planned Parenthood, though. That's well, good. the only thing about politics that I care about today is that it's Pat Nixon's birthday, and um, any first lady I think deserves has to off. Yeah. You know, having to be married to the most powerful person in the country, Pat Nixon. You know, she's cool. Okay. It's Henny Youngman's birthday now. Do you know who Henny Youngman is? No. Was, well, he was a, a famous comedian. Yeah, yeah. Born in England, yeah. but became an American superstar. And his famous line, speaking of the adulteress, is "Take my wife, please." <laughs> <laughs> Take my wife. I didn't yeah. from Take my wife, wife. Henny Youngman. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Take That's my wife, line. please. <laughs> I know. So it never ends. ends. It never ends. It never ends. <laughs> it's Jerry Lewis's birthday today. I like Jerry Lewis. It's Selma Hopkins' birthday today. Who's that? She was born in England also, and she was the American 1956 Olympic silver medal for high jump. Ooh. Oh. And um, it's funny because London's hosting the Olympics, but she, she jumped for America. Thelma Hopkins. She sounds like a singer, but she was a jumper. <laughs> Chuck Woolery. You remember who he Chuck is? Woolery. Yeah, Love Connection. Exactly. I used to watch Love Connection a lot when it was rerunning. Like, See, that you do. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> I a TV show. You don't know Man from Uncle, but you know Love oh, Connections. No. <laughs> Bernardo <laughs> Bertolucci. He, he was the director of The Last Tango in Paris, talking about porn. So, like, does that <laughs> stuff... Would stuff like that get considered? Like, like are they trying to regulate? It's like no, it's not really an issue. It's like they're just trying to bring up anything they can think of to talk about that people might think, oh, that person represents my views. Like, oh, I don't so know. like to think that it's a good idea to actually do it. How can they? They can't. They literally can't do it. So it's well, if bullshit. Sarah says that, then I will agree. They better not. Elliot Murphy. <laughs> oh, Elliot Murphy. <laughs> Elliot Murphy's birthday is today. Oh, Elliot Murphy. Oh, I know. He's a he was um uh, oh singer. Yeah, isn't he from the Cars? Uh, or is Nancy uh, from Still Electric was yeah. the Cars. Or or is Elliot oh, Murphy the one? Was he? I don't know. No, Elliot was in Cars. Is Elliot Murphy the one that committed suicide? No, that's Elliot. Who, Eva? Elliot. Who's, who's the songwriter? Elliot. Smith. Smith. Yeah, Murphy. I think he's from the Cars. Elliot Murphy. I gotta look it up. I'm gonna look it up. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Alice Hoffman's birthday is today. She wrote one of my favorite stories, movie. Practical Magic. That's a great movie. That's one of the best. It's the best. I love that. Nancy Wilson of Heart, it's her birthday today. Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav. Uh, we'd love to have him. And Wolfgang Van Halen. Oh, that kid, man. He's got it made, right? Yeah, pretty much. He does. What do you think? Little Wolfie. But no, I was just thinking, you said Nancy Wilson, and I wasn't sure which Nancy Wilson. Oh, from Heart. You meant, oh, I was yeah, wondering who was the famous jazz singer, who I'm such a huge fan of. I mean, I love Heart, too, but yeah. Nancy what about Wilson. Love? <laughs> I, I mean, I think Hart is great, but I was never like a Hart maniac. 
Um, no, I, I only learned about them after the Ride to Rock camp was like they talked about her. I was like, oh, well, they're really I substantial. It. They are. Yeah, they are. So, and they were sisters, yeah. and, and they married really influential men too. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They were smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smart with a heart. Yeah. <laughs> angels in the room today. Big angels. Uh, T Bone Walker. You know who T Bone Walker was? Um, T Bone Walker. Yeah, blues guitarist. Yeah, yeah. Funky yeah. Town. Yes. Um, awesome. Yeah, Arthur Godfrey. Does anybody know who that is? He was a TV host. He had a very famous name. But the saddest angels of the room today. Seven members of Reba McIntyre's band were killed in a plane oh, crash oh on this day. So, you know, we love celebrating the angels in the room, and I'm sure Reba McIntyre has to be thinking about it this yeah, day. Probably. I mean, that this is yeah, a day that... A whole, a whole group of people... Yeah, but she know. was not on that plane. Yeah. I know. Maybe she was already there doing press or something. Who know. knows? Right. right. But a lot of artists do go that way. Yeah. I know. Makes Those... me want to take the train. <laughs> yeah? You think? Yeah. You think the train is safer? No. <laughs> Just lower <laughs> the ground. I know. It's more so. creepy. <laughs> exactly. But what's it? Oh, God. Yeah. Accidents are accidents, know. you know? It's also Thomas E. Dewey. Uh, without him, we wouldn't have the Dewey Decimal System. He is an angel in the room. Dewey. Dewey. I like saying that. Dewey. <laughs> it's a funny name, right? So, um, are you finding anything? Yeah, well, it says that um, Elliot Murphy is an American rock He's singer songwriter. It, I didn't find any mention of the cars yet, but maybe you're right. Look maybe up the cars. I forgot to mention that Viva is on my roster and she's going to be on the show today. Yay! Yeah, I figured we'd get. Yeah. yeah. Viva's does, awesome. she, does she go by? She doesn't just go by Viva. She goes by Viva. Not any. Not her. She calls her band the Power Trio. There you go. And they you are. Really are that trio. bass player. Um, Mary man, Feaster. Amazing. amazing. Yeah, incredible musician. They are great. They're really, really great. <laughs> so, um, so Ruth, wants, I'm really sorry we have to postpone our, our show. Hey. It's fine. We were going to play next week, but yeah. we've got more coming. we got some in April. 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 That's going to be awesome. Yeah, April. We have a new Rude Ones lineup until Allison's ready to come back <laughs> on the drums. <laughs> Sarah, because she's so versatile, is going from bass to drums. Yep. And, um, and so far, I loved it. Like, it just, I missed it, and it's fine. It was so fun. You're so talented. It's amazing. So, um, what else is going on with Alley Songs? When's your next event? Well, I mean, the, the showcase I had was for um, the big uh, International Performing Arts Conference that was here in New York in January, the APAP Conference. So I probably won't have another showcase for a while, but um, Viva is performing at BAM in the BAM Cafe, free show. Nice. Next Where Friday night, the 23rd at 9 o'clock. So you guys should come out for that. That's that was be great. exactly our slot. Go there now. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And, um, uh, you know, we've got, I mean, everyone's got shows coming up. Allison Miller is playing in D.C. Uh, well, actually, I'm sorry, let me backtrack. Monday night, Allison Miller is playing a fantastic night of women jazz musicians at the Schomburg Center in That's Harlem, really cool. Monday night. Um, Women in jazz is really cool. <laughs> I believe the 19th, right? 16th, 17th. Yeah. And then Wednesday night, she's playing at the Atlas Theater in D.C. for a night of Washington Women in Jazz. Nice. They have a Washington Women in Jazz Festival going on starting that night. March 21st. Wednesday the 21st, yeah. Washington so, has a lot of uh, stuff like that in, in its nooks and crannies. Little festivals, you mean? And, and jazz and yeah, a lot, Great, of, a lot of music there in general. Music. Yeah. The Kennedy Center has a fantastic stage called the Millennium Stage. Every night of the year, every holiday, every night of the year, there's a free performance open to the public in the Kennedy Center. And everyone in D.C. knows about it. A lot of out-of-towners don't know about it unless they read a guidebook. But... It's sponsored by Target. Do you read Godbooks? That's great. No, but my artists have performed there, so I know. That's so awesome. It's a great, it's a great opportunity. Yeah. Wow, and so and cool. and it is the day that Robert Kennedy said he was going to run for president. So, if there wasn't a Kennedy Center, I mean, there would be no Kennedys. No, it's dedicated it's, to him. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know, and um, those Kennedys, I heard um, Maria and. Um, 
the governor are working it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kennedy's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, did you hear that? Maria Shriver. She's, she's a Kennedy. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, I see subject to the question is is practically in the house, and, and <laughs> we get, we have a lot more going on in this fashionably late year anniversary. And uh, we're going to take another break, and you can watch some rude ones, because we're not playing right now. But we do have stuff that you will be able to see right now. Push the button, Caroline. You got it. Yeah. You got it. You can do it, too.